You've been in that for 20 minutes. Are you okay? No, just a minute. Because okay. I'm going to be late for school. I looked it up online and like I think that's what I have. Like I have not had any appetite. I've been so tired. I haven't eaten anything like all week. And I'm like all stopped up. I can't go right. Like it's been like on and off diarrhea and it's all stopped up and I feel nasty. And I'm literally it's like that bleeding stuff. I'm like, is that normal? I think we should send take you to the doctor right now. Really? Yeah. Like, it's not it's not yeah. just hemorrhoids, you think? We should go see the doctor. All right, I think we should. Okay, let's go. I'm so glad you made it to your follow-up appointment. Yeah. I'm Dr. Ron Weiss. I'm Chris. I'm her stepsister. Oh, good. <laughs> last, last time you had your roommate? Right, yeah. Got good friends. Family. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. We got your colonoscopy results back, and we did a biopsy. Okay. It turns out that you did have cancer within your colon. You had it in your transverse and your descending portion of the colon. Okay. With this... What does that mean? What's cancer? Oh, good question. Cancer is a growth that's developed by the body and typically is a healing process, but the body finds out if there is cancer, sends the antibodies and typically destroys it. Sometimes cancer is not found and then it grows. Okay. And so it, it grew. grew. It yeah. grew inside. We do need to take a PET scan, which would be a test where they inject a dye in your body, mm -hmm. scan your body, that part will be painless, and we'll be able to see if the cancer has moved outside of your intestines. Well, how did I get that? Typically, it's found in obesity, but it could also be caused by smoking, oh eating red meat. She does a lot of meat and potatoes. Alcohol. Oh, she loves her wine. <laughs> And family history. And you know mom had it. Yeah. Yeah. So. And what are the treatment options then for? After the appropriate staging of if the cancer is still inside your intestines, um, they would do a resection where they remove the bad part of the cancer out of the intestines, seal it back closed, do a blood test to see if the cancer is gone. Okay. If it's not, then you'll be starting chemo and radiation therapy. Okay. So so can I get that now to find out? Can I get that test now? Yeah, we can go in the front desk to set up your appointment. Okay. Bye sis. Bye. 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 Thank you. Oh, God. Hemorrhoids? Really? Yeah. I don't think so. God. Okay, just sit down over here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna tell your doctor that you're here, okay? I'm just so tired. I'll be right back. Okay, just sit right here. Thank you. Sorry. Oh my, you've got the colon cancer. Welcome to the club. You have colon cancer? I do. I do have colon cancer. I'm at a stage four. Oh my god. What do you have there in your hand? Well, <laughs> I just found out I had cancer. I'm like in shock. I was just coming up for a smoke. You can't smoke. I know. The doctor told me I should stop and like so much stuff. <laughs> you have to eat a low fat, high fiber diet. You have to exercise and you have to give up your alcohol and you have to stop smoking. You have to listen to the doctor. Do you have any family? Stop well, your stepsister, I'm sure, really loves you a lot. She's counting on you. You don't want to leave her behind. You have to stop doing this. I, I mean, do you want to end up like me? Look at me. I have pink hair. <laughs> I know it's funny, but... Oh, God. I don't... Thank you guys so much for coming. I am celebrating five years of remission. Let's party! <laughs>